Yo Rabbags, it's Jay. Today I'm giving you a whole mix of new game news you need to know, especially for console fans. Did you know Starbound released on Xbox yesterday? Did you know that Smallland's update for console, the campsite update, goes live today? What's going on with Halloween events for Core Keeper and Grounded? Taking a look at upcoming console games that are going to be arriving like Tetonica, Tales of Agaspar and Retreat to Anen, and maybe just one PC exclusive game for now, which I like the look of, and you guys let me know if you want to see me play it more. I usually do this show as called The Survival Show on my big main channel, JPG Survival. So if you want to keep up to date with survival games, make sure you're subscribed over there. Otherwise, come join my Discord where I'm really keeping track of more survival games than ever before. You'll find the link to both my channel and my Discord in the comment section down below. Anyhow, let's go with all the latest console survival news. Out of nowhere yesterday, Starbound finally launched eight years after initially being revealed as coming to console. Sadly, it is only Xbox for now. Chucklefish, the makers, haven't given a reason why it's not appearing on PlayStation or maybe even in Switch yet. You may have seen me stream this last night. It is long awaited, often called a ripoff of Terraria. It definitely has its own vibe, but certainly has got some comparisons. The controls are super fiddly and it's definitely taken me a while to get used to. I am intrigued about how much more I could get into the game. So if you've never heard of this game, but you like the idea of playing more similar titles like Terraria, then absolutely check out the live stream I did last night and see in the future if I can make any more guides. It's 12 quid, $15 or so right now on the Xbox for Series S and X and older gen consoles too. You can play with up to four players, but no crossplay with PC. And it does look like PC eventually might get some of the stuff like controller support from console in the future. Small Lands, the campsite update has finally arrived on Xbox and PlayStation, or should be later on today, it going live at 9am PT time. That's 12pm Eastern, 5pm UK and around 6pm Central Eastern Euron time. It adds a rat bag, rat boss to go and fight, brand new rodent armour and even more with a new NPC giving you a quest, the Geologist. The mouse is a tameable creature, a bit like the mantis that you have to do a base kind of style hall defense to actually get one, but it's looking pretty good and might try and find some time to check it out. Again for the future, we've got a treat to an end. It's coming out on Xbox and PlayStation next week, October the 30th. It's been in early access two years. It's had a slew of updates. I would say definitely check some of my previous videos on my older channel to see what the gameplay was like, but definitely I am curious to see how much has changed in the two years since I last gave it a shot. What is it? It's meant to be a more peaceful meditation style survival game. You'll actually have these breathing mini game exercises in between surviving and hunting creatures as you build up bases in all sorts of different biomes. It's not the most complicated of games, but the food and water management does require quite a bit of effort. So if you're looking for something a little bit more chill, but also still have that tiny bit of danger, and you like the idea of maybe base building in a bit more of a futuristic setting, then yeah, I'll be probably covering this again on my main channel, just giving it a revamp and look and see if it's improved in the last two years. No idea on price, but you can go and check out the wishlist page. I do believe it's live on PlayStation and Xbox now. So last week I told you guys that Grounded's Halloween event, which hasn't been working for some people, should be going live later on this week, where well, it looks like it's been delayed again. It's not the biggest update going, they are going to be adding some quality of life stuff hopefully and some bug fixes to it, but don't expect huge amounts. But in addition to the pretty much pumpkin they add every year on the end of the porch, which is missing for some people, this is what I'm really looking for, these scarecrows, as they can give you lots of feathers. The reason they're given was that some people were on holiday and it's taken a while to get through cert. Honestly, it might be a really small update and literally it might be that one thing they've added that actually gives a bit more to gameplay, but I'll take what I can get at the moment with Grounded pretty much not getting any more content updates in the future. Fingers crossed it arrives on Monday or Tuesday and not literally on the day of Halloween and then don't get much time to actually enjoy it. I'm sure they probably would extend it, but it's often tied to your game system's time. So if you ever do miss out on an event in Grounded, you can actually just go ahead and set your system's time to whatever time the event would be, like Valentine's Day, Christmas, or obviously Halloween, and you should still be able to take part in stuff. As soon as it's live, I'll be there to let you guys know. And just to remind our Core Keepers Halloween event officially starts today, but of course you can turn on the events whenever you want by toggling it in the main menu in gameplay settings before you begin a game. 
Doesn't look like they're adding anything new as part of this Halloween event, but it's pretty cool. Normally you run around killing certain enemies like Cavelins and they'll drop Halloween maybe pumpkin style coins which you can then go ahead and use at a special trader to unlock new decorative items as well as get new gear like a nice glowing lamp. There's also a variation of the Hive Mother, a brand new one that will give you certain new exclusive loot. So make sure you craft the calendar, put it on the room just like you would with the other traders to make a new trader appear if you haven't seen the event one. And then yeah, keep killing as many cavelins as you can to hopefully get hold of the special pumpkin coins so that you can go ahead and get all new gear. I'll probably try and do a stream of this over the weekend to show you guys what you can get. If you're fairly new to the game, especially on Xbox and PS4, as well as Switch, it's definitely worth doing as the lantern's pretty OP as it also regenerates your health. So double check your gameplay settings, make sure you've got events turned on. And as I said, you can scroll through and make any event live so you don't have to panic or worry about time running out. So this has been pretty console focused, but there is something I want to slip in. Allbound has come out into early access yesterday. I showed this off in a few episodes a little while ago, and the full game looks to have fleshed out quite a bit, so I reckon I'll give it another let's play and another try. It's pretty much Minecraft meets maybe, I would say, Deep Rock Galactic mixed in with satisfactory as you can add automation to your efforts trying to get special precious ores and fighting off goblins i said the full game's out on steam now i don't know if it's coming to console in the future but i'll definitely keep track of it and talking of automation one game you will be able to play on xbox and playstation very soon is tectonica and i'm probably going to be covering it here right here on jpg crafted Again, another game I covered on my older main channel when it launched on Early Access on Steam, but now it's coming to console, I think it's time to give it a fresh play, and I'd love to show it off to console players. It is very much like Satisfactory, except you're exploring all these bioluminescent caves, but maybe isn't as complicated as Satisfactory can often get. This one's coming out on the 7th of November on Xbox and PlayStation, so I'll definitely do some more detailed videos nearer the time, but for sure, keep this on your radar. It's coming out with early access, so it should have some big chunky updates to go alongside it. And in fact, I can start showing some of that off now, as I have been given a special preview version where I can show you up to a certain point. So if you want to see me play more Tectonica, then let me know. But for sure, the game I'm hyped for more than anything else I've spoken about today is Towers of Agasbar. And this is coming to PlayStation 5 on November the 19th. I did a big preview video of it yesterday, so go and check it out for more details. It's pretty much what you'd get if you mixed Studio Ghibli with Breath of the Wild, maybe a little bit of Animal Crossing and Viva Panata, and a little bit of action combat in Horde Defense as you face off against these quite scary and dark creatures to eventually turn a dark, desolate land into a beautiful and green, lush place once more. It's got a ton of creatures you can hunt as well as go ahead and ride, even a bit Monster Hunter style that you can clamber on top of some of the larger ones to take down. The idea is you'll build up your settlements and basically restore the land with a unique different biomes and unique different style villages. It's a 1-4 to co-op game and it's going to be one of the first times that PlayStation are really getting behind a early access title. Officially at least anyway, since they've never really promoted it other than Ark being one of the only other games to really launch in early access. I think this game is going to be massive, it's just such a shame it's not coming to Xbox. No news has been given about whether it's a timed exclusive or whether it'll actually ever appear. It does look like it will be a PlayStation and PC exclusive for a while. And that's pretty much the heads up from me. You will be seeing lots more Core Keeper, Grounded and maybe some Small Land and Orbound from now until uh, maybe a week or two time. And then I'll be switching over to Tectonica for a bit and then going mad on this game when it releases. Out of all the games I've spoken about today, which one excites you the most? Leave me a comment down below and come and join my Discord, like I said, to keep track of everything I'm doing across both my channels and anything to do with survival games. Until next time, Ratbags, laters.